what's up guys nolan here and this is going to be a as quickly as possible kind of video that i'm going to nonchalantly throw together so that i can talk to you guys about my current fleet as well as my future plans for star citizen for those of you guys that don't know there's currently an invictus week event going on in star citizen it is currently free to play and it is free to rent a ton of different ships in game so it is a really good time to one see if your computer can even run star citizen two to see if you might like it even if it is very buggy right now and three take advantage of some sales if you did want to actually buy into the game just to go over those deals real quickly you can get the aurora which is a very good starter ship the persistent universe which is the game that everyone is really interested in as well as squadron 42 which is the single player kind of campaign of star citizen and that's going to be 60 dollars. or for 85 dollars, you can get a better ship which is the avenger titan that's going to have significantly more storage space as well as some other upgrades it's generally just a better starter ship all around while you still get access to squadron 42 and the persistent universe there's a couple other things that you can get now as well but those are the ones that i would say are good for the beginners also if you are downloading the game for the first time or using one of these sales please remember to use my referral code as you will get a bunch of money to start off with as well as some other goodies that link's going to be in the description now for those of you that haven't heard the nice guy community discord is now live it's up and running and it's running very well we already have more than a thousand people who have joined it which first off is wow and second off it is already a really cool community what's going to add to that community are the main games that i'm going to focus on one of which is going to be star citizen once things calm down on the discord we are going to start getting the organization for the group of star citizen players together and then from there we'll be able to figure out exactly what we want to do in the game as a group given our backgrounds and seeing as most of us are probably coming from escape from tarkov i'm thinking more of the pmc route because that's going to work very well i would think with our history so since we would be some kind of either private security or private military corporation or firm or something like that we're going to need a lot of boom so what i was thinking is i'm going to use any kind of extras that i get from that referral program as well as my own personal investments into the game to create a backbone to that community or that group or that organization most people call it an organization in star citizen so that you guys can pop in whenever you want and get the most out of your playtime. so what exactly does that look like well for one i'm going to get ships that will be useful in much more than one way as well as infrastructure ships these are things like medical rearm refuel and repair ships so that you guys can just get whatever kind of ship that you might want to get whether it's a small fighter or some kind of a big giant capital ship it does not matter you guys can get whatever ship that you want and you can still take part in the group because i will handle the backbone and the logistics side of the group now as of right now i have a few smaller ships sitting around that i'm going to eventually upgrade but in terms of ships that i'm definitely going to hold on to for the long run i right now have a perseus a mercury star runner an aries inferno a valkyrie and a redeemer the perseus i see as security for the group the star runner i see as a smaller group size useful ship for either smuggling or data running or just for fun whatever it might be useful for that's pretty much going to be my main ship whenever we don't have the full group with us i have the aries inferno because bert that gun is going to be a lot of fun to use and then i have the valkyrie and the redeemer as drop ships or boarding ships for the community so the valkyrie can hold a lot of players in it or a few vehicles and a bunch of players and the redeemer can also hold a few players while being a gunship so what i was thinking is if we were ever going to assault anything those would be a really nice duo to have between the firepower from the redeemer and the capacity to hold a lot of troops with the valkyrie so of the ships that i have right now we're already very flexible in terms of backbone and you guys can show up with whatever gear and whatever ships that you want to show up with and we can still have a lot of fun however the week is not over yet so by the end of this invictus week in this sale i plan on getting a starfarer which is a refueling ship so that you guys won't need to worry about fuel whenever we're hanging out in the verse i'm gonna get a vulcan so that you guys don't need to worry about any repairs while we're in the verse and i'm also gonna get an apollo so that we have some kind of ambulance system for medical treatment which would just be basically an ambulance or a ferry to an endeavor we'll have to figure out specifically where to put the endeavor or how to use the endeavor but that's basically going to be what we would call home and it's going to have our main kind of setup for medical treatment as well as possibly a couple hangers i'm not sure yet but either way this would be the main logistics of the organization and that's just this week but past that there's a few more things that i would have as a reach goal for the community so that we can really do whatever the hell we want no matter who is there that day what those ships would include would be a lightning the lightning isn't available yet but if it ever does become available i'm definitely going to grab one because it is an amazing fighter so i'm going to grab that just for myself and then if we ever go get into any crazy fights where i myself would pilot a dog fighting ship i would bring the lightning with me i'm going to get a mantis so that we don't have to really worry too much 
much about EMPs. And if we ever wanted to ambush anybody or if we ever needed to stop anybody, that can handle the EMP. And then together, I would get a Polaris and a Terrapin. The reason why I would do that is because my friend Groth, who was really into Star Citizen, suggested this as a really good idea for large groups, where the Polaris can be a standalone, and since it has a hangar, if you put a Terrapin in it, it works as sort of like a AWACS system, which would be like command and communications, as well as recon. So if we were ever going to move into a new area, or if we were ever going to assault anything, the Polaris can move off on its own, bring the Terrapin with them, scan, get some better eyes on the target, or wherever we might be going, and then come back and tell us what happened. So the Polaris and the Terrapin will be really cool. The Mantis will be really useful and the Lightning will just be for fun. Then we have the Hammerhead. The Hammerhead, I don't really see as we need it quite yet, but it is going to be an amazing fighter screen, especially if I do end up getting the Endeavor and if I do end up getting a Kraken. So the Kraken is a light carrier. It definitely is no slouch when it comes to guns and defensive armaments on the carrier itself. And it would be a central hub in terms of repair or refuel while we were out in the verse. And again, if there was any kind of ship that I would think is like a nice, backbone for a community it would of course be something that can carry repair and refuel other ships which the kraken can do very well now the only downside is those ships are going to be out in the open like a real aircraft carrier which is why we would want to make sure it's sufficiently protected and then that is when i would also pair it with a hammerhead if not multiple hammerheads actually so generally speaking this is the fleet that i have in mind as like an ideal fleet that i would have at launch or whenever we decided to as a community really start getting into star citizen and this is so again you guys can just show up with whatever you might want to bring that day and still have tons of fun you're not going to need to worry about meds you're not going to need to worry about refueling you're not going to need to worry about repair you're not going to need to worry about anything other than showing up with whatever you want to show up with and just enjoy the universe so that's it guys that's my current plans for star citizen if you wanted to get in on the conversation like i said the discord is live so just make sure you jump in you select the star citizen role and you make your presence known so that we know that you are interested in taking part in the star citizen group once we get our heads together, we'll actually start to plan some proper things for the organization, and then we'll go from there. Don't forget, if this is the first time you're hearing about Star Citizen, or if you wanted to try it for the first time because it is free to play for the next few days, make sure you use my referral code and definitely try to take advantage of those sales on whether it is the Avenger Titan or the Aurora. If you guys have any ideas of some other ships that I should add to my fleet or some other ships that you think might be useful to this fleet or to an organization, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, stay tuned to the channel because there's going to be a lot of Star Citizen coming in here in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.